Evet. This one, quiet as a mouse. Actually, no, no, that sound like sleeve bearings. I turn the speed down. They sound like they're sleeve bearings. I think they are, they're sleeves. That sounds like sleeve bearings. Sound like I've got fiction because the drive kind of struggled there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check those bearings. That sounds like fiction and those are sleeves. Not much talk there obviously. It's not properly set up for that motor. This is configured for a Delta motor, not a Star one. Thirty hertz. Yeah, I'm going to have to work on those bearings. Those bearings, um, they're going to jam up and just lock the motor up at high speed. So, very slow on that one. It spins better. We'll take the uh, back plate off, we'll have a quick look. It's behind there. Because those um, ball bearings sound like sleeve bearings. Let's get that back plate off, have a look. They're probably the original bearings. But the last one, that's been greased. It smells like wood varnish, that's how old that grease is. <sighs> Must have had the last greasing in the 60s, I reckon. This smells of wood varnish, like the inside of the old electricity meters. Let's put some new grease in that. There's no impurities in there, but let's get that cleaned up and put some new grease in that. I have to get an old rag and just get all that grease out and redo all that. There's some. Um, this looks like Vegemite from the 50s. <laughs> That'll have to be re-greased. Let's get some fresh grease on those bearings. Whew. Oh, let's get this cleaned out. Running on 50 hertz. That bearing is bugging. See that? Sounds crunchy. This uh, bracket's original to this motor from the 40s. This is a bracket to be very useful. So it is that for sure. Oh, let's just pull it up by a brush. I'm going to have to use a pulley. I didn't hit it with a hammer carefully. It did. I pushed it on more to loosen it. Two mils that way onto the shaft and I loosened it. You see I see in there to free it up. But I don't get a pull to get this off. I don't want to ruin this pulley. I'll need a pull to remove it. Well, I don't have that here now at the moment. Be careful doing this. Extremely polished, so let that penetrating all sit in there. It's a normal speed. Now that double the speed. Now it's quiet. Very quiet now. it off. Has gotten better. Just sit on that. Yeah, that's a half a noise that's coming from. Mm. 
Yeah, it's a star round motor. So you don't wire these on some delta. You have to configure, configure the draft differently if I'm going to use this motor all the time. That's a nice clear pull in now. Got that shaft all polished. It's all so, uh, CRC penetrating all in there. That's better. So no axial plates, so the bearings are good. I just need a fresh greasing. But I want to get this off so I can pull that cap completely off and clean it out like I did with that one of all the old grease. Yeah, they grease it that way. No point leaving the old grease in there and just stuffing the new grease over the top. I want to change it all together. The back bearing's better now. Better now. That's much better. I reckon I'm going to put that with this. This would go good with this. Same age. It would look better than this modern motor. It's a good thing about old motors. Fix it up for old machinery. The old machinery doesn't look the same on new motors. So, it's good to preserve. Probably worth rewinding them as well. If you get any burnt out ones. And put it all uh, polished up. Polished all the fun up. It's got to do all soaked. So I don't have to use a puller to get that off. That's better. I might have to get some brass sole on that. Yeah, I'm going to get some brass sole and polish this up. Watch how good it's going to look. This might be a bit of a more of a go. You can use a scourer and then polish it with a nice cloth. That works. But that came out quite nice. This one looks so shiny. That's shining like minty. That looks beautiful. That looks like something made of the museum there. Just steampunk. That looks nice. That looks real nice. There is it better. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.